What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Old School Car Fanatic. Um, I was thinking about this topic I want to share, I want to elaborate on. Came to my mind today. Every day I try to think of something new that, that, that I can relate to, that maybe you can relate to, and I can help somebody. Nothing that I share on here is scripted. All of it's off the top of the dome. So I'm just in here in my office meditating, <clears throat> thinking. And the topic that I want to talk to today about is rejection. Rejection. You know, I didn't want to accept or really come to terms with the phrase Re rejection is God's protection. When that person um, that you want to be with don't want to be with you, it's God's protection. When that job you want ain't falling through for you, it's protection. Um, it ain't meant to be. It's protecting you from something. Um, uh, some something you want to purchase it ain't it ain't coming through it ain't work out you want to get this vehicle you want to get something just something not going in your favor that you really want to but it just ain't sometimes that rejection is protecting you it's not coming through it's not working it takes you to a different better place see a lot of times we want what we want how we want it but sometimes I've learned in my personal experience is to really surrender and trust the process. We hear it all the time. Trust the process. People share it on Facebook, social media platforms, all this stuff. Trust the process. You know, once you surrender to your higher power or your life and let things flow the way they're supposed to and stop trying to control the outcome of everything, you know, uh, you will see things working out better than you could have made happen yourself. And it come through better than you could ever imagine. So rejection is God's protection. I'm a religious man. I believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I had a nice um, service I went to today at my church. And, you know, I was reflecting on the past a little bit. The devil was trying to get in my head this morning. And I got to thinking about it. And I've been thinking about it until I made this video today about some of the things that didn't work out in my life the way I wanted them to. And I let it bother me a whole lot because it didn't work. I realized that was God's protection. Rejection was God's protection. And, you know, and I've come to terms and accepted these things that bothered me that didn't go my way. You know, the jobs that I could have had that didn't fall through, uh, you know, um, friendships, relationships, uh, you know, uh, all kind of different scenarios, man. And, you know, I get in my head about why this ain't working out how I want it. This ain't work how I want it. This ain't work how I run it. You know, maybe uh, maturely and mentally, I, I come to realize I wasn't ready for that kind of stuff. And 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 some of the things that I wanted that didn't that didn't come go my way. And then, you know, uh, spiritually. I might not have been ready, you know, and in some of the places I just didn't need to be places or people I just didn't need to be in their life. They didn't need to be in my life, you know, and when you start to understand that it takes time and it takes meditation and studying of oneself and getting closer with your higher power or with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, God bless Jehovah. Thank God for uh, shedding his mercy on me. But once you start to accept the reality that things ain't going to go how you want them to go and to trust the process and stop trying to rush and stop trying to force something to work that ain't going to work. And, and, and when you try to do something that is just not meant to be, it could be disastrous. It could be disastrous. You know, I uh, bet you so many people, man, that tried to force something, ended up in a worse situation and they made their life even worse in some way, shape, form, or fashion. We really don't have to go into detail, you know. Um, 
It's a bunch of different scenarios. People could get hurt. People could lose their lives. People could get incarcerated. People could go to jail. People could lose jobs. All kind of stuff because they tried to force something. Rejection is God's protection. You know, and now when I look at life differently, I look at things in my life that's going on, stuff that I want to happen, I got more patience. So when something ain't going how I want it to go, instead of getting upset and angry and trying to figure out a way to force it and make it happen, I sit back and look at it. And I pray and I ask God for guidance and strength. And I, I have patience and I have understanding to, to, to just slow down and trust the process, you know, and stop trying to force everything. It took me a long time to get here maturely and mentally, you know, and we feel like it's a race. We just got to hurry up, hurry up, get this done, get this done, get this done. Because we see everybody else doing the thing. We trying to get ourselves established. It ain't no race. It ain't no race. Move at your own pace. Haste makes waste. Rejection is God's protection. So I just wanted to share that little piece of information with y'all today. Um, I hope everybody has a safe Memorial holiday weekend. Um, I'm here in Virginia and the police are going to be doing they got extra police out there on the streets to try to stop crime and traffic violations. They know a lot of people going to be traveling on the holidays. I just come on here to share this, man. So anybody watching this, I don't care what state you're in, now is not the time. And if you're going to drink and indulge in party favors, do it responsibly. Don't drive. You know, think about somebody else's life, man. You know, think about your kids. Don't think about, don't just think about somebody, think about somebody else's life, but think about how selfish that would be for you to have a good time, your kids at home, your wife at home, waiting on you, and here come Tuesday morning, you just getting out of jail, you lost your license, and now you can't drive. Or you might don't get out of jail. And now your life is altered because of one weekend of a few drinks and partying. And that is going to cost you a lot of money and time and set you back from all your goals and stuff. So be careful. Don't drink and drive. Think about somebody else. Don't always think about yourself. Stop being so selfish, you know, and doing that will bless you tremendously. So check it. It's your boy, Old School Cop Fanatic. I appreciate all my viewers and subscribers, but if you could... You know, I got I got almost I got 159 subscribers, man. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers, man. Please share, like, subscribe. Hit that share button, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and comment. Say what you want to say, negative or positive. Well, I want to hear it. I want to communicate with y'all. Y'all communicate with me. Tell me how you feel. You heard me. So, God bless. Have a safe Memorial Holiday weekend. It's your boy, Old School Car Fanatic. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. You know what it is.